This is North Redondo Beach, where I grew up. I don't like this neighborhood. There's something depressing about the NIMBY vibe, the severe lack of public space, and the way car-centric design shows through in every little detail. Redondo is more a neighborhood for cars than people, considering the vast majority of space is allocated to cars, and the dismal state of the sidewalks. Now, Redondo does have a couple nice parks, but they have a bunch of ridiculous rules like no dogs, no biking, and no skating. This is all part of a culture of extreme overprotectiveness of children that's emblematic of car-centric American suburbia. Not Just Bikes has a great video about this on YouTube called Why We Won't Raise Our Kids in the Suburbs. North Redondo also has this multi-use path, which was a great addition to the neighborhood that was added in 2008. However, it has several safety and design issues. These crossings have a stop sign for cyclists rather than cars, and more importantly, there's absolutely no reason not to have speed bumps, or better, a continuous sidewalk at each of these crossings. Again, see Not Just Bikes on YouTube about continuous sidewalks. This design reflects a car-first philosophy that prioritizes traffic flow above all else, including the safety of pedestrians and cyclists. And it's utterly characteristic of North American public works to throw up a sign and pray it's enough to prevent dangerous driving, rather than create actual infrastructure that enforces slow speeds. Consider this residential street, for example. They threw up a sign to flash your speed at you on this digital display, and they threw up a 25 mile per hour speed limit sign. Meanwhile, this street is wide enough to land a plane on, meaning the speed design of the street is far higher than 25 miles per hour. Everything about this street gives a psychological sense that it's safe to drive really fast, and the only thing stopping people from doing so is some signs. There are no speed bumps, modal filters, traffic circles, narrow streets, or chicanes, to name just a few traffic calming strategies.